the 456 kilometer long and over 100 kilometer wide island of Vancouver is located on the northeastern part of the Pacific Ocean. As a part of the Canadian province of British Columbia, it has always been a great travel destination for lovers of nature and natural beauty. Among all the areas located on the western coasts of the Americas, it's the largest one. With the warmest climate in all of Canada, this magnificent island is well visited each year. Its beautiful beaches, shorelines, and old-growth forests take visitors' breaths away and offer plenty of activities. So let's see what the best places to go and visit are on Vancouver Island. Number 15. Macmillan Provincial Park. This astonishing area of 301 hectares is situated 25 kilometers west of Calicum Beach, a town in Vancouver Island, and 16 kilometers east of the city of Port Alberni. This park that protects the Cameron River was used for ceremonial purposes before European settlers came in the 19th century. During the 1920s and 1930s, this place was a well-known tourist stop. Throughout history, many battles were fought to acquire this land, but since 1947, it has officially become considered a provincial park of Class A. This area offers dozens of old-growth forests, from which Cathedral Grove is the most famous. Alongside its breathtaking greenery, something that inspires this forest is its ancient trees that are between 600 to 800 years old. Number 14. Port Renfrew. Situated on the south shore of Port San Juan, Port Renfrew is another place where people can experience the natural beauty of Vancouver Island. Also known as the tall tree capital of Canada, this unincorporated community was the home of the First Nations of Canada, who represented groups of Canadian domestic people that are considered distinct from the Metis and Inuit. Tourists can explore Big Lonely Doug, Eden Grove, and Avatar Grove in exciting single-day trips. Here, you can find peaceful moments like nowhere else on the whole Vancouver Island and see some red cedars that will leave you speechless. Number 13. Tofino. Located in the western terminus of Highway 14, on the piste of Isoista Peninsula, lies the district of Tofino. Since the grand opening of the Tofino Post Office back in 1909, this place has been named by a nearby Tofino Inlet. The ones that were the most significant for its inauguration were Spanish explorers called Valdes and Galeano who named this area in admiration of Admiral Vicente Tofino de San Miguel. Today, it is considered a true jewel of the western shores of Vancouver and one of the most famous destinations for surfing. Also, there are plenty of storm-watching activities from November to February that are popular among tourists.
Number 12. Victoria. Victoria represents one of the most important and main getaways to Vancouver Island. The capital city of the Canadian province of British Columbia is situated on the southern tip of the island. About 100 kilometers away from the city of Vancouver, this city is being used as the main starting point for tourists who want to visit Vancouver Island. Before Europeans arrived in the area, it was host to numerous communities of Coast Salish people, including the famous Songhees. Today, visitors usually start their trips from this spot. From plenty of tourist attractions and activities, some that stand out are Inner Harbor, the historical hotel Farmont Express, and the Royal BC Museum, which offers insights into British Columbia history. Number 11. Pacific Rim National Park. This is a park that covers 511 square kilometers of land. Situated in British Columbia, Canada, this beautiful place contains three different areas. They are known as the Broken Group Islands, Long Beach, and the West Coast Trail. According to the provincial government's decision back in 1993, a reserve was placed in the Nidinat Lake area. Things that are really impressive at this massive area are natural beauties like old cedars and the shoreline of beaches. The most visited region is Long Beach, which covers 16 kilometers of fine sand. For activities, the most famous to do is whale watching during the spring and autumn. Number 10. Butchert Gardens. Located in the Brentwood Bay in British Columbia, Canada, lies an outstanding floral display of gardens. It is a true heaven on earth for all lovers of flowers and colorful plants. The long history of this place dates from 1888, when a Portland's cement manufacturer, Robert Pym Butchert, and his wife came to his birthplace of Owen Sound in Ontario. Construction of the first gardens began after the arrival of the Japanese garden designer from Yokohama, who visited the area in 1907. During the years of development, the gardens gained an illumination from 1953, which leaves anyone in awe during the night visits. Nowadays, there are many music performances and firework displays across the summer in the Butchert Gardens. Those events really fulfill the surrounding greenery of the gardens. Number 9. Goats on the Roof in Old Country Market, Coombs. Situated on Provincial Highway 4A sits the community of Coombs. It is a host of one of the biggest attractions in the entire Vancouver Island called Goats on the Roofs. This attraction has a history and tradition that has lasted for over 30 years. Goats are taken to the roofs for photo shoots from the visitors. Old Country Market is a place that has represented a huge tourist attraction for a long time. It's perfect for families who can visit local restaurants, gardens, or surf shops.
Number 8. West Coast Trail. Located on the southwestern edge of Vancouver Island, there's a backpacking trail that has been a popular destination for years. A trail goes directly through the traditional territory of the Pachidat, Dididat, Nutanoth, and Huayat people. Those trails that were used for traveling existed mostly before the settlement of Europeans. The biggest attraction here is hiking activities. Among the many hiking areas, the most famous one is the Juan de Fuca Marine Trail, which is 47 kilometers long. Among the other hiking tours, some that often stand out are walking to Botany Bay and Botanic Beach. Number 7. Cleocote Sounds In the Canadian province of British Columbia, Canada, lies the fantastic body of water called Cleocote Sounds. Bordered by two peninsulas, Essawista in the south and Heskiat in the north, this place that contains many islands and inlets offers phenomenal experiences. Cleocote Sound was explored in the 18th century by a boat of Americans and Europeans who are mainly focused on fur trading. Today, this area is designated a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. The biggest attractions here are watching animals like whales and black bears, as well as doing activities like kayaking. Number 6. Nanaimo The city of Nanaimo is located on the east coast of Vancouver Island. Known as headquarters of the regional district of Nanaimo and the harbor city, this place was home to a domestic people called Snunimu. The first time this place was found by Europeans dates back to 1791 when the Spanish voyage of Juan Carrasco arrived with ships. This area was also used as an internment jail for Ukrainian detainees between 1914 and 1915. It is mostly known for its amazing boat tours to the Salish Sea between Vancouver and British Columbia mainland. Activities like watching whales and other marine life is the most interesting thing here. Number 5. Mount Washington Alpine Ski Resort Next to the famous Strathcona Provincial Park, known as BC's oldest park on Vancouver Island, lies this magnificent piece of year-round recreation travel destination. It was founded by two businessmen from the Campbell River, Alex Linton and Henry Norrie, in 1997. It was first Linton's idea of creating a ski resort four years before its actual opening. Those businessmen decided to buy this land from Crown Zellerbach, a forestry company, then hired a resort planning company called Ecosign to do the construction of the complex. Today, it hosts many visitors each winter. It is a perfect destination for lovers of ski sports. Snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, and tubing are the biggest attractions during winter. In the summer, alpine hiking comes as the best option for tourists.
Number 4. Shemanis Wall Murals Situated in Shemanis Valley on the east coast of Vancouver Island's southern part lies a community called Shemanis. It was founded in 1858 and in the beginning was an unincorporated logging town. This place got its name from the word for a broken chest that was implied by a local shaman. Now, this place is mostly known for its special murals. A total of 53 different ones are spread around the entire place. The images that are presented on the murals represent the history of the city itself. Although they are used as decoration, they became a huge tourist attraction. Another place that attracts visitors is the Shemanis Theatre, where the Shemanis Theatre Festival occurs. Number 3. Beacon Hill Park Beacon Hill Park is located along the shore of the Juan Fuca Strait in Victoria, British Columbia. At first, the area was protected by Sir James Douglas, a Canadian fur trader and politician. In 1858, he was also an honored governor of the colony of Vancouver Islands. This hill park that spreads over 75 hectares of land is mostly known for its fantastic shoreline trails and woodlands that are very popular among tourists. Also, it's filled with activities as it contains tennis courts, a water park, and playing fields, which makes it perfect for families with kids. Number 2. Souk Potholes Provincial Park Souk Potholes Provincial Park is a provincial park located in British Columbia, Canada. This 7.28 hectares large park stands next to Souk Potholes Regional Park and Souk River. This river spawns different types of fish like coho salmon and chinook. Its biggest attraction is its wildlife that offers many animal species and an environment that is adorable to all visitors. The fish, black bears, Roosevelt elk, and cougars are the most popular animals here. Number 1. Hartley Castle Hartley Castle, also known as Hartley Park National Historic Site, represents a classified federal heritage building situated in Colwood in British Columbia. In the period between 1940 and 1995, this fascinating building of great historical importance was used as a naval training facility of Royal Roads Military College. After that, the ownership of the mansion was passed to Royal Roads University. The property was then bought by a BC's lieutenant governor called James Dunsmuir in the first decades of the 20th century. In cooperation with his wife, they decided to hire a Canadian architect called Samuel McClure, whose task was to build a 40-room mansion in Scottish Baroque style. Today, tourists can enjoy beautiful gardens and trails that are surrounded by red cedar and Douglas fir. Number 2. 